What's up guys, Well and Customs here and today we're going to take a look at an oldie but a goodie. It is the Figma Iron Man Mark 7 armor. One of my favorite armors. I like how it looks because it's kind of bulky looking but still has the essence of how Iron Man basi basically looks like. And this is actually my first Figma Iron Man action figure. I try to stay away from the third party Japanese brands like Figma and Finger Arts a lot because they're just so expensive and I don't want to end up collecting a lot of them. But you know, I saw a good price on this and I was always a fan of this one so I decided to pick it up finally. And uh, let's open them up. Alright, so here it is out of the box and man, this thing is beautiful, I have to admit. Very impressed how it looks like. I know this has been out for a while so I'm pretty much, pretty, pretty sure as some of you guys have already seen the review on this but I'm just gonna give my two cents and my initial reaction on it, how it looks. But I'm really impressed by how it looks, how it feels, all the accessories. You have a lot of accessories right here which is pretty nice too. So we get to all that detail right now. Quickly looking at the accessories of the figure, he has all these hands right here on a nice pa panel right here, which is nice. These go on pretty easily, pop on, pop off. These on the other hand, a little bit more specific because they have little pegs right there, so you can put on the blasters, which is really cool. You have two for the hands, two for the feet. Also, which is nice, you get a little extra peg in case you need it. If you lose or break something. Also, you get a nice baggie to put all your stuff in. And of course, which is awesome, is the clear stand. How much I miss these stands. Uh, so you definitely get some nice cool poses with Iron Man like that. All you do is add on some thrusters on his feet. And there you go, you're done. Uh, but going to the figure itself, uh, like I said, very impressed by it. It's... Uh, for the figure itself, it's not f fragile, it's a nice figure, but you have to be a little bit delicate with it because sometimes, you know, it's not going to fall apart or anything, but it's not like a Marvel Legends figure where you could just manhandle it and be fine. You can feel all the panels, you know, a lot of pieces are loose, but they're made like that to shift um, so you don't they can hide the joints. The biggest problem with this figure I have is pretty much is the knee pad or the knee fin right here. Then when you bend his knee sometimes, you might touch this, it might pop off. That's the only thing I really have a big problem with. I might have to do something with that honestly but um, getting it on is a pain in the butt but yeah looking at this whew, it is beautiful uh, really nice I love the paint job the paint job is probably the most is a great thing on it other than obviously the articulation you know the sculpt is very nice too but I have to admit uh, it's definitely better than Marvel Legends but Marvel Legends isn't bad when it comes to sculpting sometimes especially with Iron Man figures they do a pretty good job um, but it's not the greatest when it comes to articulation I guess maybe it had the same articulation but just not as good if you want to say that at least uh, but other than that yeah, yeah you pay the money for this but it's well worth it honestly now one of the reasons why I bought this specific figure is because you know I did a lot of research I've seen other reviews uh, figure arts has a nice selection of Iron Man figures but they're a little bit smaller uh, I like this one specifically because he's pretty tall pretty big he matches up very well with the Marvel Legends collection and other six inch figures that is too also he has the essence of Iron Man, obviously, how he looks like, so it's nice. But I like the fact that he has a little bit of bulkiness to the armor. Like on the shoulder pads over here, the bulkiness in the back is a little bulky as well. I know there is an, a, a deluxe pack of this where you can actually take these fins off. Right that, and you can replace them, the one in the back as well. And they have the fins that actually open up, like in the movie from the Avengers movie. That's pretty cool, but it's a lot of money. I'm not going to buy it. Uh, so I know I'm... Uh, even so, I, since I know I'm not gonna buy, I'm pretty much gonna super glue all these parts on so they don't, I don't lose them or they don't pop up by, by accidentally and I lose them, you know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much if you're gonna buy that whole set, you buy the whole set. You know, I'm not, you don't, you have to buy the figure again basically. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but yeah, going back to the figure, more details of it and all its beauty. Yeah, the paint job is really great. Uh, the sculpting is great. Um, a lot of small things are awesome too, begin to that in articulation pretty much. <clears throat> um, what else is there? Going down to the legs, you can see all the details as well, which is pretty nice. Just overall, like what you expect from these figures, great detail, great sculpting, great paint job. Pretty much that. Getting to articulation really quickly, it's a lot of joints, I might miss some, but it's all there when I go over the joints. So his head goes all the way up, pretty good. Get some nice, okay, decent flight poses, I guess. Uh, but goes down really nicely because he has a neck joint and also a head joint right there and then the bottom of here so the whole thing shifts. That's pretty nice. The shoulder pads are on a kind of like a disc around the, sh the peg that goes into the shoulder. Um, so it rotates along with the arm so it's not that bad and it's pretty loose. 
not loose in a bad way, but a lot of give is there, so it doesn't really get in the way of the articulation, which I like a lot. So that's pretty good. He has a bicep rotation right there. It looks like another peg right there. Peg joint. Uh, he had a disc over there at his elbow, which is nice. I believe he rotates at the wrist over here, like right there. And at the wrist over here, he has a little joint right there. So it's a hinge and it also rotates, so that's nice, as you can see. Uh, going down to the abs section, he has a lot of joints there. He has like one right here and one over here in the bottom, so it's almost like two. And you can definitely get a lot of crazy ab crunch. That's nice. Look at that. It goes back pretty okay. Not that much though, but going forward is pretty good. That's all I care about. Going back, I don't mind. I'm like, who the hell does, like, who the hell goes all the way back anyway, right? So, so this is nice, and it rotates left and right kind of pivots left and right as well, so that's good. Nice rotation there. At the hips, you have this little section here that goes up and down just for, you know, it's good armor piecing that, you know, it won't get in the way at articulation, so the legs aren't ball joints, it looks like, so it goes forward. Pretty good. Goes back a little bit. In and out. Not that much, but he's wearing all his armor. I don't expect him to do a split anyway. Uh, thigh swivel right th over there. I'm uh, going to the knee, he has a disc, so it's almost like, it's only one point articulation, but it's really good, almost 90, more than 90 degrees, 45, 90, yeah. Uh, on the feet over here, swivels, pivots, ankle, feet, toes, everything's there, so it's really good articulation right there, so you could definitely have a nice poses with this, um, you could even go the further extra mile crunching him down, bringing the legs up, getting his hand up, repulsor. You can imagine him having all the thrusters on and everything, so it's pretty nice. That's really, oh, his hand came off. Um, so that's pretty much why you buy these figures, for the awesome articulation and also the details. And I see why people have been spending a lot of money on these, and it is worth it, I have to admit, it is 100% worth it. These are really nice. You definitely have to take care of these, though, you know, you don't want to fool around and play with these or have a kid play with them. Um, on your shelf, on display, ACBA, all that jazz, you know, this is really what they're for. Alright, now we're going to do some examples where we just pop on the new hands or different hands. So it's pretty easy to come right off and uh, we'll use a fist. And I like this little tray that you can actually put the hands back on so you don't lose them. That's pretty cool. Just like that. That's nice. Pretty easy. It's not going to pop off that easily too, so it's pretty good. Uh, but these are the nice ones where you have all the different examples to put on for the blasters. So a little bit different. Like on these, you actually just pop off the you pop off the hand, and there's no peg in them. Basically, this is the hole. But for these, for the blasters, you actually had to take off the whole thing because that's just how it's made. So you had to really get your nails around it and pull it out. There you go. So you pull the whole thing out like that. And then that way, you can stick in this peg, if it wants to. There you go. And then from there, you can take it this, plug it in. That's pretty cool. And of course, we're going to finish it off with the thrusters to make it look even cooler. And of course, this is a classic Iron Man pose. Flying in the air. Just like that. And pretty much, you can just do that and you're done posing him. Have him in the background with the Avengers in the front. That's pretty cool. Size comparisons, here is the Figma Iron Man with the other Hasbro Iron Man figures from different lines. As you can see, he looks very good right here. And this is the main, one of the main reason, reasons why I got this figure because like I said before, the figure arts Iron Man look really nice, but they're a little bit smaller. It could be like a couple of centimeters or half an inch, but it's a big difference, honestly. And I like my Iron Man figure to be a little bit bigger or more in scale at least. And as you can see, this one, he matches very well with the rest of them, sometimes even bigger. Uh, so it looks a little bit more realistic in my opinion, so that's why I got this. 
And before we go to the rest of the size comparisons, I want to talk about some nice hidden gems of this figure that I noticed that I like a lot. Uh, for one thing, you know, all the different armor and pa panels is very nice that move. You know, to go with the articulation and also hide articulation joints, this is nice. So this one, even this one right here, there's a little panel right there that shifts. So when you, you know, when you move it around, it goes with the rest of the plates over here, which looks really nice. Also, over here at the wrist, uh, this little flap over here actually is rubber. So that is really nice when you move up the, the wrist like that. It, could, it won't bend or warp or anything, so nice detail right there. Uh, also, the shoulder pads, like I said before, I like how they're really loose. Well, not really loose, but there's a lot of give. So when you move the arms around, they don't warp or get in the way or anything like that. Uh, going down to the rest over here, even though I hate these joints at the knees, um, they're actually metal. I think they're metal, so it's a nice nice material at least. Like, going through the rest of the figure, when it comes to quality, like I said before, you have to... It's not fragile, but you have to be delicate with it, but the plastic itself is really nice. Uh, it does feel pretty durable. If, it, if I drop it, I might get a little bit worried, but I know it will survive, no problem. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. What's up guys, this is just some bonus video before I end the video of the size comparisons part. Um, you know, as you see throughout the whole video, you know, this his left hand right here, the hand always manages to pop off throughout the whole video and it kind of annoyed me for a little, a little bit, um, especially after I finished the video and I was using it for other videos and posing him and stuff like that. So I was thinking about it for maybe a couple of days and what I'm going to do basically is with this figure and all the extra hands that he comes with, that are not for blasters. I know for 100% fact I'm just going to use two of them most likely which happen to be the open hand right here and also the fist and inside the figure he has one of those peg holes you know the joints like this and you get an extra one as well so that being said I know that if I'm going to switch them out I'm only going to use these two hands I'm going to basically super glue this at the tip of this into the hand very, gen very, very carefully, so also that you don't want to use too much super glue that you might get it on the joint itself and it won't be able to bend. So being very careful of that, you know, I'll put at the tip, insert that in so, you know, this hand won't fall off anymore, basically. And then this one will be, you know, be a lot easier to get stuck in there, you know, to stay in there and to pull it out too. I could pull the whole thing out with this joint in there. I hope you guys understand that. So, you know, basically, like I said, there's two of them and one each. Surprisingly, with the left hand, though, I mean, his right hand, I don't have the same problem. It's pretty in there. It's flush. It doesn't come out. So, uh, I mean, with his right hand, I'm always going to have it as a fist. If it's not a fist, I'm going to use one of these as, you know, with the, uh, the repulsor rays coming out. So I don't really need to worry about having extra hands for this one. I might do the same thing, having super glue on it just to add some security to it. Um, so I don't lose any pieces though. So, Alright, so right now I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it on camera per se because I need to look at it very carefully. And I can't have this big DSLR in my face while I do it. So, uh, But the general idea is I'm going to just a, just a little bit at the tip. Right at the tip right here, I'm going to put it on there. Um, so I don't overflow it over the peg and then we'll stick it in and it should be good enough because this is super glue we're using and I'll let it dry for about like 10 minutes and I'll do the next one and the next one so okay. all right so I just finished these two specifically and this is just a little tip also if you do choose to do this uh, so basically when you stick the super glue in into the peg into the glove into the hand it's gonna stay like that you can't rotate it all the rotation as a swivel will come from this side of the peg into the arm so you do have a hinge there, so you want to make sure if you do that, that you align the hinge perfectly with the inner part of the palm. So if you want to hinge his hand, it still is, you know, straight the way it should be, not, you know, messed up looking. Uh, that's just something you might want to look for when you, if you choose to do this also. Alright, it's been a couple minutes now. I believe everything's all dried up, so this is for the right hand, and the hinge works really nice. The little socket the joint is going to come out so it'll be a lot easier to get this in and out of the arm basically so we stick that in nice and tight and smooth basically the one that goes into the arm I never had a problem with that it goes in flush it's always the hand that was comes off if I had any problems and the hinge works fine you can rotate it over here which is good and if you want to switch it to a repulsor uh, hand you just pull the whole thing out 
everything comes out nicely. And then you get the repulsor ray and on a lot easier. So you basically skip a step and also you don't have to worry about like trying to get the other piece out, the joint out, so it's a lot easier in the end. And now uh, with the other hand, I have two of them, one open, one fist. You could basically stick it back in, a lot easier now. It's not gonna come off. Still have the hinge and it rotates like that. So a lot better. I also super glued from the video, since I made the video, I super glued these little things on the bottom here. That always has some problems when I might bend the knees. Uh, you, you, could just, you could just touch it and it'll just pop right off. It was really fragile. Um, so I super glued them down basically. They don't move anymore uh, basically at all. They're pretty flush on there and I think it's fine. They didn't even really bend that much anyway. So. And up on top, super glued down the shoulder parts down too, just in case. So I like to have my figure nice and secure. I don't, I don't want anything to fall off or lose any pieces. So, all right, now that that is over, back to the video. And for a last size comparison, here is the Figma Iron Man with some of the other Avengers figures I have that are part of my actual collection. And it looks pretty good, you know, it has a nice height to it, a little bit taller than someone like Captain America and the rest of them because he is in that armor, so it makes more sense, but obviously not as big as Hulk or Thor. So I love it. I think it looks pretty nice, and that's about it, guys. So that's my little quick review of it and what I think about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to wildandcustoms.com. If you liked the video, get a thumbs up. Peace.